Good morning, dear children. Welcome to the online classes of Saint Lawrence School. For now, class five, English literature. Today we'll start with a poem, Circus Elephant. Now we'll see the explanation of the poem. This poem reflects the longing of a circus elephant to return back to the jungle, his home. So this poem reflects all the longing. all the sadness all the pain which a circus elephant is feeling while he is in the circus and he is not able to go back to his home that is jungle it reflects the selfish nature of human beings and their ignorance towards animals so this poem also reflects the selfish nature of all the mankind of us because we are so selfish that for our personal needs we are exploiting the animals we are using them for entertainment purposes for different various work purposes and we are also ignorant towards the pain we are not empathetic towards these animals we always use them we make them work we keep them as the bondages but we don't feel how these animals might be feeling because these are animals which cannot express themselves by saying something we should try to understand what they are trying to convey to us they not only trap the animals from jungles and bring them to town but also bend their will to serve and fulfill their wishes now these people they not only trap the animals they keep them as a bondages then they are bending their will this means that they force the animals they make them learn all the acts so that they can entertain us maybe it is in the circus or maybe in the fight fields or maybe in various other purposes also they use the animals and they make them learn why because these animals they are so innocent they cannot say anything and they are serving the human beings without any money also so these animals are exploited exploited like anything meanwhile the animals have nothing to do but live with the bleak hope of being freed some day and while these uh, animals are in the circus or in the places where they are exploited these animals have nothing to do they cannot run from there they are kept in chains and all and they have only a very feeble a little hope of being freed some day so that they can go back to their homes to their loved ones they also have a family they also have parents like us they have brothers and sisters siblings so they want to be freed and go back to the family that is in the jungle does the elephant remember in the gray light before dawn old noises of the jungle in mornings long gone the poet wonders If the elephant remembers the noises of the jungle and the dawn and sunrise that he can no longer see so here the po in this stanza the poet wonders whether this elephant he remembers any of the noises of the jungle maybe the rushing stream or maybe the sound of the birds or maybe the beauty of the sunrise which he has seen long long years back when he was in the jungle as he was brought to the circus long back because these tales are now long back why because he has not been to jungle for many years he has been serving us he has been entertaining in the circus for long years and he has not gone back to circus to jungle does the elephant remember the cry of hungry bees the tiger and the leopards the lion at his feast She wonders if the elephant remembers the roar of the hungry predators like leopards, tigers and lions who would feast party on animals like himself. So here in this stanza poet she wonders whether the elephant remembers the roar of the predators. Now what are the predators? Predators are the animals who feed who kill other animals and they feed themselves on those animals. like lions tigers so does this uh, elephant remembers the roar of the hungry uh, hungry tiger or maybe leopard and does he remembers the roar which they make while they are feasting 
while they are patting on the prey which they have caught and they have killed maybe some mighty animal it may be a elephant or it may be a buffalo they always prey or they rather they catch or kill big animals to his majesty eardrums listen for the thunder of the feet of the buffaloes and zebra in the dark and dreadful heat she sorrowfully expresses that despite of him having large ears he cannot hear the thundering footsteps of the herd group of buffaloes and zebras who gaze in the deadly heat of the jungle so here in this stanza poet as she sorrowfully expresses with a very heavy heart she says that despite of this animal he is a large animal and he has a large ears big ears but still he is not able to hear the thundering footsteps of the zebra or buffalo while they are running to save their lives or he is not able to see them gazing in the open sun in the heat of the jungle does his majesty remember does he stir himself and dream of long forgotten music of long forgotten stream the elephant is often called a majestic animal so as you all know elephant is a big giant size he is a large animal and he is that is why the poet refers to elephant as his majesty somebody who is very much on a high position he has lot of respect in jungle everybody is all the animals they feel little smaller than him and they are scared of him also she imagines how the elephant would stir himself in the middle of the night when he dreams of his life back at the jungle so here in this stanza she imagines whether elephant would be thinking about all the past days of the jungle and whether he is thinking about all everything what he has seen in the jungle what he has heard in the jungle and while dreaming about all this does he stir himself stir means does he changes his position from one side to another in the middle of the night like when we also dream when we are dreaming about something of anything it may be some fearful dream or maybe some happy dreams we also stir ourselves we turn ourselves from one side to another so maybe animal this animal who is elephant maybe he also while dreaming about long back days of the jungle maybe he also stirs and whenever he sees his helplessness that he would never be able to return and maybe he feels helpless also why because now he has lost all the hope of going back to the jungle because he was there in the circus for many many years soon all these memories of the streams and the noises of the leaf breeze etc will become past and the elephant will remain trapped forever serving humans so here in this stanza she also says that because he has been staying in the circus for so long time maybe now he is not hoping also to going back because nobody will set him free he has forgotten about his freedom and now he will forget about all the dreams also of going back and hearing to the sounds he has forgotten all the noises of the jungle maybe of the rushing stream maybe of the noises of the falling leaves or maybe of the breeze or maybe all the beautiful sight of the jungle also sunset sunrise all these things he might have forgotten because he had been in the circus for very very long years and now he has no hope of going back because now he will remain trapped he will remain as a bondage in the circus and he will never go back to his family or maybe to his home that is jungle and he will keep on serving in the circus and then ultimately his fate will be to die in the circus without going back in the jungle so now let us see the hard words and their meanings so first word is dawn this is early morning morning time when sun rises this is known as dawn the long gone is past many years back something which happened that is long gone dreadful is very bad or terrible means something which is not very pleasant or which is not very good so it is terrible and bad stir himself so here in the poem it is said 
move slightly or lightly while he is sleeping so maybe he is a heavy body so exactly he can't uh, turn himself fully from one side to another as we do but the little bit while sleeping he is stirring he is shaking himself slightly so this is said in the poem so with this we have come to an end with today's session thank you have a nice day to all